Hey guys, welcome back. And if this is your first time tuning in, I'm Courtney, that's Phaedra. And you can't see Nyx, but she's asleep at, on the floor by my feet. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the all new Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. This is an all shimmer palette from Urban Decay that has a lot of metallic high shine finishes. It's new for holiday 2017. I'm gonna bring you swatches of the Heavy Metals palette. I'm also going to give you a comparison between the Heavy Metals palette and the Urban Decay After Dark palette. And of course, I am going to do a demo on my eye look where I demonstrated how well the two purple colors work. So this is the Heavy Metals Metallic palette. It's $55 and each eyeshadow has 0.03 ounces of product. You, you press on the palette like this to open it up. And it has a mirror in the middle and then you have your fun colors over here and your neutrals over here. I personally do not like this palette design. I feel like it's very awkward. So I'm gonna put the names of the colors above. We have Amp, that's a metallic bright teal blue. Mullet is a metallic deep green. Spandex is a metallic deep blue with purple shift and blue micro sparkle. This is the color I'm wearing on my lid and to me it looks like a very blue toned purple with blue micro sparkle. I love this color. Dive is a metallic medium blue. Metalhead is a metallic deep purple. This is a deep, like, pinky toned purple to me. Ground is a metallic black with iridescent shimmer. Aluminum is a metallic warm gray taupe with iridescent micro sparkle. Glam rock is a metallic silver. Punk rock is a metallic fuchsia. This looks more like a burgundy to me. Twisted is a metallic gold. Angel fire is a metallic pale pink. I feel like this looks like a pale, sort of peachy pink color. It's what I used as my inner corner highlight. Maiden is a metallic beige. Scream is a metallic mauve. Acoustic is a metallic nude. After Party is a metallic red. Roadie is a metallic burgundy, but I think it looks like a metallic brown. Starfire is a metallic bright copper. This one's gorgeous. Demo is a metallic bronze rose, looks like a brown. Glory is a metallic golden bronze, this one's really pretty. Base is a metallic bronze, it looks like a brown. So now I'm going to show you the comparison between the Heavy Metals palette and the After Dark palette. There are 10 colors in the After Dark palette. There are 20 colors in the Heavy Metals palette. Each eyeshadow in this palette is 0.03 ounces. Each shadow in this palette is 0.05 ounces. So each shadow in here is much bigger. I basically went through and picked out the shades that were the most similar to swatch next to each other. Amp and Fringe are similar. Fringe is a deeper color. Metalhead and Druggy are somewhat similar. I feel like Metalhead is more pink toned. Dive and Paralyze is somewhat similar. Paralyze is a deeper blue. Glory and Sinful are sort of similar. I feel like Sinful is a much more complex gold. After Party and Supersonic are similar. Demo and Off Duty are kind of similar. Punk Rock and Backfire are somewhat similar. Mullet and Lounge are somewhat similar. Lounge has like a brown base with a very strong green shift. I know some of my friends who already have the After Dark palette are gonna be skipping this palette. I personally am really glad that I have this palette because I love all of the metallic colors. I love that they didn't include any mattes in this palette because I look at this as basically a companion palette to any other palette that I own. Like it would work with any of the Urban Decay mattes palette. It would work with the Naked Ultimate Basics palette. Um, you know, I just used my own transition color Urban Decay laced with it and I love how it, it looks. I feel like after there being a ton of boring neutral palettes, this is a great alternative. I really do wish that they hadn't included three browns because I just kind of feel like they're all pretty similar. And this is a holiday palette, so they, in my, I feel like they should have skipped them, but I'm, I'm sure I'm in the min minority. I was just kind of like, eh, who cares about the brown? For the eyeshadow look I put on, I used the Kat Von D Fair Primer Stick and set it with Milani Setting Powder, but I had no problems at all using the purples. I feel like the purples look badass, and usually companies have troubles with purples. I'm really glad that Urban Decay usually does a great job with purples because I feel like these purples look amazing. Okay, so let me tell you what I dislike about this palette, and then I'll tell you what I like. So I really dislike the packaging. I am just not a fan of this weird, awkward split palette design. I think it's weird to have the mirror in the middle. It's gonna get fingerprints no matter what you do. The outside packaging is also very prone to fingerprints. 
that just, it drives me crazy. I hate that. While you do get 20 colors in here, I just like that the amount of product you get per color is only 0.03 ounces. That just doesn't seem like a lot of product, especially for a holiday palette. And I usually feel like Urban Decay offers you a better value for their holiday palettes. And finally, I really hate the number of brown eyeshadows. There are three brown eyeshadows in here. And the shade that's a, supposed to be a burgundy roadie looks like a brown to me. So I'm just, I found that disappointing because it's a holiday palette. You know, you, there are a million and one neutral palettes out there. I want something fun and colorful. So let me tell you what I do like about this palette. I do really like the eyeshadow formula. I didn't have any problems with, when I used my brush damp, I didn't have any problems with fallout with these shadows. Um, I did have a little bit of fallout with the color spandex whenever I was going in with a dry brush and blending. So I think that it depends on what sort of application method you use. If you use a sticky base, you're probably not going to see any fallout at all, depending on your brush shape as well. So I really like the formula. I love my purples. I think my purples look amazing. Aside from the browns, I really do love all of the colors in here. I especially like like the golds and the silvers and the coppers. I think that they are absolutely beautiful. I also really love that basically I only need three transition colors to work with the colors in this palette. I can use laced, which is what I use for my look today, which is like a pale pinky taupe. I can use teas, which is like a light cool brown, or I can use desperation, which is basically like a deep gray. Like those three colors would work with any of the colors in here. I would use desperation with like the blues and the black probably the silvers. I would use the teas, the like sort of brown color with the neutrals down here, maybe the green. Um, I used lace, the pink color with like the purples, but it would probably work with some of the neutral shades as well. So I love that basically this palette made it really easy for me to see how to come up with color combinations. I don't look at this as a standalone palette. I definitely look at it as I'm going to use my favorite transition colors to supplement it. But the look that I'm able to create with it is going to make a big impact because look at this purple on my lid. Look how badass it is. I love it. So if you're curious to see how the eyeshadows actually perform and blend on my eyes, just keep watching. I'm going to use Urban Decay Laced as a transition color. I'm using a big fluffy brush and blending in circles on the hood of my eye or my crease. I am going to use the color spandex and I'm spritzing a little bit of Urban Decay's All Nighter on the brush. I'm brushing spandex onto my lid. This is an awesome purple with like blue sparkle. I'd say it's a very blue tone purple, which I personally love. And maybe it's with my application technique, but I haven't seen any fallout on my face, and I was kind of expecting there to be a little bit of fallout with the shade because it does have micro sparkle. I'm trying to work that same color onto the hood of my eye in the smoky dome shape. Since I'm moving my brush in a different way, I'm probably going to see a little bit of fallout. Yeah, there's a little bit of fallout going like this. I didn't use the brush damp. I'm going to apply the color Metalhead. I also sprayed the brush, brush again with a little bit of All Nighter Spray. I'm going to use a little bit of ground, the black shade, at the outer corner. Using an E35 brush just to sort of blend and soften. I'm going to use Angel Fire on a damp brush at the inner corner. Okay, I put on the rest of my makeup. I put on Kiss Gala Lashes. I put on ColourPop Brow Pencil in Jet Black. I put on, put on the Milk Blur Makeup Stick. I put on Eden Minerals North Skin Foundation in Yorin. I used Milani's Prep Set Go Setting Powder. For my blush, I put on Urban Decay Fetish Blush. I used a little bit of Physician's Formula Moramura Better Bronzer in Light as a contour, and I used Urban Decay's Aura as my highlight. I used Urban Decay Chill Spray to set it all. And then for my lips, I used Urban Decay Bittersweet Pencil with Urban Decay Violet Lipstick on top. I'm going to zoom in so you can see my eye look up close. 
I don't normally put on such large lashes, but it seemed appropriate with the Heavy Metals palette to have very large lashes. Okay, so in my opinion, if you are somebody who loves color, you love metallics, you love shimmer, you need this palette. If you are somebody who doesn't really like metallic eyeshadows, you don't like uh, micro glitter, you should avoid this palette. If you don't like crazy colors, you probably should avoid this palette because it does have, you know, while it does have a bunch of neutrals, it also has like 10 colors you may not want. I personally love this palette. I think that it's great with a couple caveats. Like I said, I don't like the three browns. Um, I don't like the palette design itself, but I love the colors in it and I love the formula. I'm hoping that Urban Decay will decide to release a couple of these like Spandex and Metalhead and Amp as singles because I think that they're great and I would absolutely buy them as singles. I'd also probably pick up Angel Fire just because I think it's really pretty as an inner corner highlight. If you're somebody who has the After Dark palette, you may want to skip this palette because there are colors, there are enough similar shades in here that you know you would end up with some dupes. I do think that this would make a great gift for a beauty lover if you know one. So anyway, what do you think of the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Metallic Palette? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and found it fun, entertaining, helpful, informative, any of those things, please give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share. It makes my day. Thanks so much for watching.